Hi everyone! So today I'm going to talk about what Sunday Riley oil is right for me. Imagine that there's like animation like, you know, lions jumping through hoops and seals balancing balls on their noses. Just something fun, right? I get this question quite a bit and, um, you know, often what I hear is, you know, oh, I'm thinking about getting a Sunday Riley oil, you know, what's the difference between them, which one should I get, which one do you recommend, what's the benefit of each, etc., etc. And rather than answer them individually because I think certain oils can be interchangeable, if you will, you know, it's all going to be up to preference at the end of the day, you know what? If you're super oily skin, but you want to kind of keep that glow, you really don't mind having a lot of excess oil on your face. Some people are like that. You never know. My skin's super dry, and sometimes I like things made for oily skin because I want a velvet finish that day. You, you never know. So I'm just going to give you some information and then allow you to sort of make that decision on your own. Um, if you have more questions afterwards, I will have a separate blog post with fun, pretty pictures that I'm going to take a lot of time to do, so you should go check out the blog. Um, and also, you know, I, I, if you have a question, you can leave it below. I'd be happy to answer. Um, so, what are the oils that they have to offer? So, they have technically, and I'll, I'll explain it in a second, why that's the case. They have three oils and then one treatment product encased in an oil, which is, well, what I was going to say is technically that. So, um, you've got from the, oh, well, what side is this going to be? Your left. Yeah, your left. We've got Luna and Artemis, and then we've got Juno and Flora. So let's talk about the core group first. Your, your, your Artemis, your Juno, and your Flora. What are these? What is it supposed to do? What's the difference between them? What's the benefit of one versus the other, etc., etc.? I will start off by saying I do freelance for Sunday Riley. I'm part of the, well, I'm not technically part of the field team, but I freelance for them. So I go to stores and I sell products for them and I do education events, meaning like I train people on, um, you know, different products. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of support during VIB. So if you guys live in the New York area, you'll probably see me around that time and um, on any given Thursday through Sunday, I'm probably in a, a store, maybe one or two or three or four of those days. You never know. Because of that, I actually, the ones that I'm showing you are part of the kit that I use when I'm in store. Um, so these are not mine. I do have, um, th well, I have technically all of them, but with Juno, I have it in the Juno body form, which they don't make anymore. It's pretty much the identical formula to Juno. So the, the uh, and I have used regular Juno before. So the, the story's still the same. I have all of them. I did pay for all except one of them on my own. Um, and that was even before I started freelancing for them. So it's good stuff, right? If, if, if I'm buying it with my own money, it's got to be good, right? Okay, so let's start off. I have this little card, which is this is just sort of what you can get if you're a client. But I'll read this to you, so maybe that'll give you their description, and then I'll give you some explanations with my experience and my opinion and my beliefs and that sort of thing, just so that way you can kind of get multiple perspectives. Um, and then, again, make a better educated decision. So we've got Artemis, which actually is all that I'm wearing right now. So all that I have on is an oil. No, no makeup or anything, but you can see my skin is not super dewy. Yeah, and that's interesting. Artemis Hydroactive Cellular Facial Oil is a sparkling, bright, lemon-scented serum which helps balance the complexion while providing clarifying and toning benefits. An essential oil complex of Australian medicinal plants, lemon iron bark and lemon myrtle, which and that's featured at the top here, um, lemon iron bark, provide anti-inflammatory, purifying, and cleansing support to the skin. Um, milk thistle seed oil, black cumin seed oil, and pink grapefruit essential oil help fight redness and premature aging caused by toxins and inflammation. Balanced with a super CLA from pomegranate and omega-3 from flaxseed for a clean, healthy glow from within. I always like to tell people, you know what, if your skin is congested, if you notice that you have a lot of clogging around the mouth area or around the nose, or your skin sort of looks dull, it's, it's, it's oily, but it looks sort of dull, um, or you get, uh, you have maybe some blemishes, um, lemon iron bark and lemon myrtle are very similar to tea tree, which is also an Australian medicinal plant. But compared to tea tree, the lemon iron bark and lemon myrtle are a little bit more gentle, I'd say. They don't have a drying effect on the skin the way that tea tree can sometimes have. Some people have sensitivity to tea tree because it's very similar to eucalyptus, so it has that cooling um, menthol almost effect, and that's not pleasing for a lot of people. This doesn't really give any sort of 
tingly coolness at all. You know, like I said, this is all that I have on, and I can even put a bit more, and I find it gives me a... A drier finish on the skin. It's interesting, I've put this on clients before who had like super greasy skin, like they came in and they're like, I need help, like I look like a grease ball. And the second we put this on, it's insane. It immediately gets, it mattifies the skin. The skin looks less oily. It doesn't look like you've put powder on it, it doesn't look dry, but it just gives it more of a satin kind of velvety vibe to it. And I did a separate review on this um, in the blog, so I'll go ahead and link that below. Um, but when they say that it gives you a clean glow from within, it's interesting how a glow can be clean looking. That's exactly what it does though. It makes the skin look very, very clean, like you've had a very purifying facial. Next we've got Juno, and Juno is a botanically active blend of cold pressed powerhouse superfood seed oils. Essential oil free for those sensitive to the activity of essential oils. Um, so again, just plant oils in here. Uh, nourishes the skin with uh, critical antioxidants, vitamins, essential amino acids, omegas 3, 6, and 9, UV shields, and natural anti-inflammatory agents for a luminous, radiant complexion. Vitamins A and C help brighten skin and increase collagen, while antioxidants protect against free radical damage. Sinks in deeply, leaving skin hydrated, protective, and velvety soft for an obsession-worthy glow. All that these are, I mean, these, you know, Wild carrot seed oil is not commonly used, but we know that car carrots are naturally rich in um, vitamin A. I will say that with continued use, I used this for about four weeks straight consistently, my skin felt more resilient. It didn't feel firmed and lifted. It just felt like it was stronger. Like the, the lipid barrier of my skin had been rebuilt and my skin just felt healthier, stronger, more resilient, and like it just had a lot more of a healthy fat content to it. So it bounced back a lot better. So let that be, you know, the proof is in the pudding, right? That because of the lipids that are in these plant oils naturally, it's delivering that to the skin and you're gonna get that strength back to the skin. So I always tell people this is a great oil to use. This is for all skin types, so whatever your skin type. Um, if you're super greasy, I would try this during the daytime and see, um, and maybe it might be your night oil instead, but for normal, dry, very dry, or even combination skins, I think this is an absolutely fine oil. It's not actually thick at all. It has a more of a thinness to it, so if you can see, it's kind of running down. So it's not a, a super thick oil. Actually, Artemis is a little bit more dense than that, but Artemis doesn't leave a lot behind. This is going to leave a little bit more of a smoothness behind, a little bit more of um, an oiliness, not in a bad way, not in a a super greasy, glossy kind of way, but it's just gonna leave a little bit more slip on the skin. Um, it's a great oil for me after I do a really potent exfoliant product. I like to put this on afterwards to nourish the skin, to kind of calm any inflammation that might have occurred from stripping dead layers of skin off with acid on your face, right? I mean, it's like, it sounds a little bit more violent than it really is. So that's Juno. Um, next, we've got Flora. So, Flora is your Russian, Bulgarian, and Turkish roses provide broad spectrum anti wrinkle support, while rose geranium and palza, or excuse me, rosa geranium and palmarosa encourage gentle lymphatic detoxification and boost protection of natural oils uh, for soft and supple skin. Rose hip oil, a natural source of transretinoic acid, aids youthful skin regeneration, while a blend of skin perfecting botanical lipids helps erase the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Deeply moisturizing, this nourishing blend of phytonutrients restores youthful radiance, texture, and hydration on a cellular level. The interesting thing about each rose that's in here is each rose has a different chemical compound. So it's designed to do something a little bit different. So one of them might be very anti-inflammatory, one of them might be very anti-aging, one of them might be very brightening. So you, you know, you are getting that broad spectrum sort of, if you will, um, anti-wrinkle health strength support. Um, this is recommended for dry or dehydrated skin, um, skin that's very seasonally dry. So if your skin freaks out because of the weather, not because it's not making enough oil, um, that could be a good one for you. Or if you're going through hormonal changes, send Riley's talked about before that rose is known as the woman's flower because it uh, helps to rebalance the skin in times of hormone imbalance. So whether it be hormonal imbalance, whether that's because of menopause, pre or post or, you know, during, I think that was a very interesting point. So if you have more mature skin, that could be, or mature or not, if you just have a hormone imbalance in your skin, I would say give this one a try. Um, it's quite thin, actually. I think it's the thinnest out of all the oils except for Luna, but Luna, again, we'll talk about in a second. 
Um, again, quite thin, it's running down, but I find that this out of all of them leaves the most kind of slip behind on the skin. I'll put that here. You're not really gonna be able to tell because these oils are gonna absorb quite beautifully, which is what needs to be said about them is all of the oils in here, that come from plants are the seed oil. So seeds are where the nutrients are, right? You plant the seed to grow the tree. Um, like grapeseed oil, we know it's all the nutrients are in the seed, really. So the seed has all the nutrients, but it doesn't have the thickness. So if you were to press actual avocado fruit, like the, the mushy part of the avocado, you're gonna get a lot of very thick fatty acid. I mean, it's great fatty acid for the mind and for the body and for the skin, but you're also gonna have that thickness and that could have a potential to clog because the oils are just too rich in fat content. So from my experience, I found that none of these will clog the skin at all, regardless of your skin type. And um, apparently all of these oils are, they're done in small batches. They're all cold pressed, which is amazing. You keep the nutrients when you keep the temperature down. Um, and that a month ago, any oil that you buy a month ago, it was a seed because they do it in such small batches and they get it out immediately. So that way you're not, you know, because the oils will start to break down over time. Um, just by light exposure, by any amount of oxygen that gets in there, and they're just gonna break down. All right, last but not least, and this one is the one that's been getting the most hype. I made you wait. It was delayed gratification, um, but let's talk about Luna. I'm sure that you've read something on it in a magazine, on a blog, seen it on YouTube, seen it in Sephora stores. Luna is an interesting character, and I think the thing with Luna is it's very misdiagnosed, if you will. A lot of people think that this is an oil with retinol in it. I approach this as it's a retinol and an oil base. And the reason that it's in an oil base is retinols are very unstable. We know this, right? Like you have to have tinted glass, it has to be airtight because the second it gets exposed to oxygen, it's gonna to start to break down. So first of all, it'll be less potent. And second of all, if the oxygen goes to break it down, you could have a, a rogue molecule of retinol that could cause irritation um, because unstable retinol can, can do more damage to the skin than good. Um, and also you get inflammation when the retinol is not housed correctly. So when you think about anything that's water-based, which most serums and creams are, it's amazing, it feels great on the skin, whatever, but water is H2O and there's that oxygen molecule in there. So immediately you're gonna have a retinol that's either started to break down so it's less potent or it can cause some irritation. So when you house it in an oil, you keep this, the retinol stable because there's no oxygen in oil because there's no water, right? Genius. Science is great, right? We Science is great. Um, so, and the retinol in here is actually trans retinol ester, which is the fatty form of retinol. So it can go down certain channels of the skin that regular retinol can't. It also, again, because it's higher in fat content, it tends to be less irritating. Um, and, it, and it's absorbed by the skin pretty well because the skin recognizes the fat content of it and sort of takes it in and delivers it to the areas where it needs strengthening, which is gonna be the lower layers of the skin. Um, it's blue, which we, is very strange for some people. It does go away. The reason it's blue is because of the blue tansy oil, right? So blue, then you keep massaging it in. So blue tansy is really rich in natural azulene, which is really anti-inflammatory. So blue tansy, from my research, has actually been used to treat things like eczema in the past because it has a super anti-inflammatory quality. So you combine that with a retinol that already isn't going to be irritating because of the way that it's engineered, if you will, and you have basically like an anti-inflammatory retinol, which is strange, right? So think of it more as a retinol product, not as an oil with retinol in it. Because of that, you'll want to put it on, leave it for about five to 10 minutes, you know, brush your teeth, turn down your bed, whatever, and then just put a little bit of an oil or moisturizer on top, just so that way you get that surface hydration that's going to kind of cover the tracks of the retinol because the retinol is going to be going quite deep. So you want to moisturize on the surface and have that absorb into the levels where they kind of meet in the middle, if that makes sense. And the thing with Luna is the next morning, a lot of people have reported noting, noticing an immediate difference in pore size. Their pores look a little bit smaller, a little bit more toned, and their skin looks like it's sort of had like an overnight facial. It feels a little bit firmer, looks a bit firmer, looks a bit more plump. Um, so 
yeah, I think that's what has made it such a huge success is people see results overnight and then with continued use their skin seems to improve over time which is fantastic it's all you can ask for uh, and with retinol we know that with continued use the skin responds to consistency and it certainly likes retinol so that's always fantastic um, they didn't stop there though the oil base is going to be avocado chia and concord grape um, there's a few essential oils in here as well so just keep that in mind if you have sensitivity to it so think of Luna as your treatment product that's just in an oil base. Um, and then think of the other oils as just actual oils that are designed more for hydration. And they do have treatment in them the way that a lot of moisturizers and, and serums do. Um, but think of your Luna more as like a serum product that is really just all potent actives and not so much conditioning, softening, hydrating ingredients. So think of it that way. So with that said, my skin is very dry. Uh, it's very dehydrated. I find that when I wear Artemis, it gives me enough moisture, my skin is completely hydrated, I don't feel like my skin is dying for thirst, but it doesn't give me that oiliness on the skin, right? The way that other oils do, it actually leaves more of a matte finish, which is... The, the thing with Artemis is it's actually sebum balancing, and I feel my skin stays nice and balanced all day. People like Sally Hughes love Artemis, and her skin's quite dry, and then Caroline Hirons, who has combination to normal skin, says that Artemis is great as well. So I would suggest to sort of buy the oil that's designed for your skin type, but play around with some other ones and see which one you like the most. I would never recommend that, like, while I'm in store, but from a personal standpoint, I think it's absolutely fine. Uh, but sort of buy the oil based on what it's designed to do, and then sort of all also consider your skin type. So for me, if I want to look very clean and healthy and like I don't want to have a super glowy face that day, I'll put Artemis on. But if I really want to glow, then it's absolutely Flora is, is the one for me. Flora also underneath makeup, like underneath the tinted moisturizer, looks fabulous. Uh, especially underneath Laura Mercier, it, it kind of acted almost as a primer and my makeup looked flawless all day long. I think that pretty much is it. Uh, I will have some more information on the blog, just because it's easier for me to kind of recall bits and pieces um, that I might have forgotten in the video or whatever, and it's a more complete thing, and that way you can reference back to it. Uh, if you're in the store and you were like, what did he say about Juno again? What is it supposed to do? Um, you'll have like a, a print version of it, because it's hard to sort of scrub through a video and try and find where I talk about it. Um, 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 I think that is it. Yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to check out the blog first because I might have answered it there. That way you save yourself some time and some effort. Um, but if you have other questions, leave them below and I'd be happy to answer it. I think that is everything. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.